all right guys what's up so i'm making another video and this is on uh a fan basically asked uh what if you have like a weak early game or you don't get to take the crap so you don't get the advantage how do you lane versus annoying adc so this is about uh the enemy this is talent us basically and uh basically to explain I start by trying to harass the minion wave because I know I can't get the crab. I'm literally useless before 4. So I'm just trying to last hit again like like I said last video. And I see she's doing the crab so maybe I try to take it. So I don't get it because I don't have Arcana on this account. But on my main I would have just taken it. And basically if I get the first crab and I'm playing a losing matchup then the game is over. You know what I mean? Like like she lost the lane but anyway so she has the lane advantage now notice how i'm still trying to last hit and notice how she has the longest range in the game but i don't take any damage from her so this is the point about knowing your matchup like she has a straight arrow poke and she has like a thousand range so i stay out of both and she can't do anything and i start ninja tabai like i start like armor and I start that uh, 730 gold armor item, so it's super efficient. And if Wukong comes and ganks me, I, I can't die. But anyways, Wukong goes bot. And I just looked at bot, and I can already tell that my team is kind of bad because we lost the 3v3, 4v4. And the, and the Crick Knock missed her ult completely. So basically, I don't feel that good about this game. But anyways, this is about how to lane. This is about how to win the lane versus ADC or you know whatever annoying meta heroes there are. So you see she's trying to take the crab again. This one I try to steal but she's smart. <coughs> <coughs> I thought she was going to auto the crab so I could steal it but anyways. Oh well. So I lost two crabs already. But notice how my tower hasn't taken any damage and I'm still at full HP against an ADC. So the mistake I see people make is that most people like try to, I don't know, trade with the ADC. Here, I noticed that my Crick Knight comes in ganks, but I feel like we could have made a kill maybe, but I, I thought the minion wave was more important. Remember, we we saw that Crick Knack messed up bot lane, so I didn't have much faith in this gank. And she at telling us had flash, so I was like, you know, you didn't know where anyone was, and there was two minions to take, so anyways. Telling us goes home. I could have joined that gank and made a kill, but yeah, that that's hindsight, right? Sometimes uh, you, you just you just make the wrong move, or you don't know how it turns. <coughs> you don't know how it turns out, so you just live with it. Over there, I checked dragon because I felt like Wukong was coming, but my team is sleeping, so I would check it. But here I, I hit four, so I can use my ult to take the crab. There's three people top and I still get the crab, so I, in my opinion, it's a super good steal. Here they try Siege, but I clear the wave and nothing happens. I don't take any damage, my tower is kind of low, half HP, but uh, I just hope that my bot lane is taking the tower in exchange. So you can see here that uh, we are completely winning the bot side and I'm doing fine topside, so I've basically done my job for the early game. Like, you know, if there's an annoying support in lane and there's an ADC, it's pretty hard to kill them, to Your be honest. So this is what you need to do to, let's say, win the lane. You know, she's trying to poke the tower, she's super desperate, we get bot tower. So technically, we won the early game because I didn't take any damage. I defended my tower, and you see I opened the scoreboard, wow, I have the most gold, do you know why I have the most gold? Because I last hit, I didn't go back once, and I lost two crabs and a dragon, but I still got one crab, so, you know, here I miss a CS, oh well. <coughs> so here I'm, I, I realized that I guess the support gave up on the lane and she left, because I'm not going to die to like, Pura, like what the heck is that, so. I poke this uh, Talon ass and she's like, okay, she's not half health, she restored, but then I poke her some more, so she's, now she's really low. She kind of knows this matchup, but I don't feel like she knows it 100%. Anyway, so I'm pushing this tower in, playing aggressive because I see that there's like 3-4 uh, mid lane, and I see my Crick Knack try to round about try to gank from behind and I think this Talonath knows this so she stays within tower range. 
And I catch her with my ult and uh, S1 flash and she dies. So <coughs> there's the wit there's the lane one. Dude. There's your solo kill that people claim you can't kill the ADC solo. Here I back just in case. And rough. There Pura comes, so anyways, go back heal. And I believe my recording bugs out at this point because I've been playing this MMO which is super demanding on my phone. So anyways, my, my phone is all kinds of like messed up now. And so I think this recording cuts out anyway. I'm not sure. Anyways, so here you see me take this uh, minion uh, jungle camp because you see my wave isn't really coming, right? And my quick neck is just like jerking off top lane again. Like what is he doing? So I just take that camp get richer. Now my wave comes and I come just on time, so perfect, you see? And I don't know what this great tech is doing, she's just wasting her time. <coughs> anyway, so that's pretty much it for laning phase. So once you're, you see that top wave is coming in, so I feel like maybe I'll go mid, Kalanas is probably mid. And I catch her with my ult, so she has to waste flash. I, I, I know that they probably come from the right side because that's where they've been most of the game. And we get a kill. I don't know how we get that kill. I also snipe it. And anyways, I get this minion wave so they can't push mid tower. And you know, even though my team is inting basically, it seems like we can kind of win this game. Or you know, I'm in the position to here. I'm the richest guy again. This is, this is not a coincidence. As long as you follow my tips, you know your lane matchups, you know you last hit, you try to get crab, and maybe you get a solo kill, you always be the richest. So you see, I go back top, I'm not mid because <coughs> the minion wave is coming in. Anyways, I can see that the recording is gonna last 20 more seconds, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you wanna know anything, uh, just let me know in the comment section and I'll, I'll make a video. I wanna make a video on how I use left and right hand to pan the map next and anyways enjoy your weekend guys